What's going on YouTube? What's going on with my Patreon friends? How's everyone doing today? Uh, I got a special request from one of my new newer Patreons, Jordan, and uh, we're jumping into Twenty One Pilots, which I believe, I believe I've I've heard more Twenty One Pilots songs than I know to be Twenty One Pilots. If that makes sense, Does that makes sense. Like I've probably heard lots of their stuff on the radio or like at like you know for dinner at the bar, or whatever, like that kind of vibe. Um, but I do not know, I do not specifically know Goner, and I specifically have not watched any of their live stuff, so especially live at Fox Theater. I don't know where that is, but um, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to they they apparently lend like toast to like a whole bunch of roots, kind of like genres, like for their what they lend to the band and stuff. I think I think this is gonna be great. I'm really looking forward to this one. If you like this kind of content, especially this live stuff, give me the thumbs up. You can uh, like and subscribe here as well. Man, it helps a boy out. You can drop your comments. Let me know where you're watching from. Love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, you can check me out on Patreon as well. Uh, if that's more your vibe, we've been doing some Twitch streams lately. I just got to figure out how to fix the latency a little bit. Um, we do some watching parties on the weekend. My Beyonce crew, if there's any crossover there. What else? What else? Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm a goner. Somebody catch my breath. I'm a goner. Somebody catch my breath. I wanna be known by you. I wanna be known by you. The crowd, man. Like anytime you get a crowd singing along like this, it's just magical. This must have been a magical moment for everyone. Piano sounds really cool. It's like a loud, confident vocal, and he's even like like letting go of the pitch a little bit and talking his way through some of these notes. And that's that's just like a skill that you need to practice and learn because like I am really bad at it, and I I appreciate it every time I hear it now. Be known by you. find the beat i can't find the beat this uh i think he's singing into a sennheiser microphone but whatever the vocal chain is for it, it sounds fantastic it sounds like it's got a lot of like um like preamp gain or like like almost tape noise i think it's like referred to um saturation it's just it's got lots of like body to it lots of like transient noise to it it's really nice i really dig it especially for this vibe I like I uh, before we get to this build, I like the transition between like when he does the first do 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 do. He's singing like very falsetto, very like whole um head voicey. And then like the second one in both of these choruses or both of these builds, he's used like more of like a mixed voice and it just has like a little bit more body, a little bit more confidence. And again, it just brings out the transients in this microphone. It's just it's a really good pairing, I think. I think they did a really good job of this. Is there only two of them? Is that how this works? Cause they're like, I think they're doing, they're obviously doing a good job of like capturing the crowd and keeping the crowd on their side, right? Like this is, this is really cool to hear that much crowd in the mix. Love. 
Like, I like there's that delay part um, and it's just to fill space, right? But it's just like another, it's the thing is, the thing is, is the reason I appreciate production so much is, is like, it's the, it's the last, it's the last funnel. It's the only funnel really between performer and audience, right? So it's like when you have things that add to the mood and add to what the performer is trying to capture in like this this feel song, like this kind of like emotionally driven song and you have stuff like, uh, like this last line, what do you say? be gone 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 it's just like this i don't know it just it, it's a part of the invisible environment of which is audio and production it just like paints this nice picture to add to the mood that he's created right like it's i love it i love it it's it's cool that he's got his in ear out he wants to hear the crowd singing right and like maybe the sta stage sounds fantastic maybe that's cool but i bet you it's because he wants to hear this crowd singing their asses off don't let me be gone Wow. I, man, I gotta go back. I was not expecting any of this. Like, I was almost like had this like kind of indie, almost like Irish kind of like roots vibe. And then now we're going to this man. Come on now. And I'm just like this again. Like, I'm not. I'm not trying to say what this band is or does. It's just like what it was reminding me of. My reaction, you know. It's just like it, what a transition, man. That was wild. And just the two of them, like. The cool thing is, and I was wrong about the microphone. It's the same microphone as this one. It's a Shure 87, either a Beta 87 or a regular 87, whatever. But they're like, they're throaty sound and they're bright, they're brittle. Um, and like I say, whatever they're doing in the in the post chain for the vocal, like it's got lots of um, like tube saturation or saturation of the microphone. And then when he screams into it, man, it just, it's such a dynamic. It's such a like, it just fills so much space. And like, and then to have just drums and piano beside it is just, is so cool, man. This acrylic drum kit sounds really nice too. The kick drum is amazing. Come on, let it out. Y'all want to know a little secret about me? Some of my favorite shit, my favorite shit ever, is when a singer can scream and a, someone who screams can sing. And it goes back and forth. Like, I, I don't know what he is better at. I don't know if he's a better singer or better at screaming because he's killing both. And, like, to be able to, like, do the singing, the full voice singing, like he's belting right now. He's singing all that stuff. He was doing head voice, mixed voice, falsetto, whatever, chest voice now. It sounds great. And now he's mixing in that, like, screaming too. Like, it's just, this is something I wish that my voice would do, and it does not do. <laughs> Come on. Cool. So, <laughs> yeah, let me let me finish this and I'll get to my thoughts. Buddy's got a voice, man. Like, oh, this is going to be the same one. Buddy's got a voice. Like I say, like some of my favorite, my favorite ever is when you can sing and scream or you can scream and sing. And I don't care which direction you like lean on or are better at. I don't care because it is unbelievable. And like, it sounds like he's doing it properly. It doesn't sound like he's hurting himself trying to do, my camera's not leggy, is it? Oh man, I'm being meticulous lately. But anyway, um, it it doesn't look like he's he's straining anything. It's not like anything's gonna sacrifice, and especially being able to sing quietly and then to that like aggressive 
like um i was gonna say falsetto uh forte double forte whatever it is like let it all out let it like leave it on the table it's all emotion it's more emotion than pitch like it's just it's so cool to see man this is a great re request i appreciate the shit out of this one and send me more of these because i would watch more um there's a couple other things that i thought were really cool um so he's playing uh it was an upright shell of a piano with a digital keyboard in it and that's just it's so hard to mic pianos and keyboards like when i worked in the elton john show they had this big like it's like a 10 foot grand piano but it was just a shell with his nice piano like keyboard and all the processing in the back for it and it's just like a for weight b you don't want to have to tune a piano every night like three times and you move it and get it used to humidity and everything and you can get different sounds because i thought that like, the low end of that it didn't sound like an upright piano but it sounded really rich and really like filling what you need when you only have two instruments on stage even if they're loud pianos and loud drums right but the whole thing the whole thing i thought was great i thought this was a great request my friend jordan all my 21 pilots friends Stay running again soon.